In this video, we will try to segment uh, the airways uh, from this uh, uh, face contrast tomography dataset of mouse. I got this dataset from uh, Sherry Mayo and um, uh, Karen Siu of uh, Monash University here in Australia. And this is a uh, face contrast uh, tomography. And what we would like to do is segment out the lungs and the uh, the air passage. <coughs> now, as you can see, this uh, data set is is really very tricky. Um, if you look at the lungs, um, the contrast is not uh, very high. Also, if you can, if you see, there are a lot of uh, ring artifacts, and then there is a lot of streaking as well. So in this case, what I've done is um, I've already actually segmented the data set. Uh, so what I'm uh, going to do in this video is is not segment the entire data set because it took me about uh, about an hour or even more, uh, just about two hours probably, to segment out uh, the entire data set uh, properly. Uh, and I'll show you the result uh, at the end of uh, this video. So what I did was, uh, let me show you if, so you can start tagging that here. And then uh, this is the, the object and this is the, the boundary, uh, the background region. So press tag. Now as you can see, because uh, and uh, there is a lot of noise here. We might have to, we might have to play with the lambda, or we can flip this and then increase the contrast, and then. And then we go on to the next one. And press tag. Now if we copy the previous tags, um, it might also work. So you can do it for, say, this section of the data. But it starts leaking here, so we have to be, we have to be careful. apply the background tag here and then as we go forward <coughs> we, we can do that in sections so for example what I what I have done is use this section then apply foreground and background or object and background apply the tag change lambda apply tag and so on so we have done this section then once we have done this section we can go on to the next section or for example now this bit is a bit tricky here when it is joining up so and so on then for example this section here this section here where there is a um, gap in between so we can put background here background here and then or we can turn off tags and so on so 
that way I segmented this region by parts and then of course going back again here so that is background and then apply tag here and so on again and similarly on this side and then we continue joining these uh, airways right up to the uh, the nose and let me show you the result now so let me show you the, the actual data set here how it looks So this is the data set here These are the lungs and so this is what we would like to segment this part. So let me load the, the segmented part now. and this is what I have been able to achieve now um, at near the end I just tried to um, get the these uh, features within the snout along with the airway so I have got part of the skull here as well as the front incisors here And this is the the whole thing that I segmented. Lungs and the and the airways. Oh, the the complete canals here. Yeah. 